the blood islands are gradually fusing into vascular tubes. These tubes connect to establish a primitive embryonic circulation. The word primitive refers to the fact that it's an early form that will undergo significant remodeling, so it's not the final, cir final circulation. In this scheme, everything we should we should have on our mind that everything is paired. All the blood vessels will be on both right and left side. Okay, so uh, let's draw the extra embryonic mesenchyma, the connecting stalk, the chorionic villi of the embryonic component of placenta. And as I will not include any parts of the embryo, I need to demonstrate a direction. So this will be anterior, this will be posterior, this will be dorsal, and downwards it will be ventral. Let's start with the heart tube. The heart starts as an enlarged tube that uh, the outflow part of which is called the aortic sac that continues as a short ventral aorta which forms uh, arch or several arches through which the blood flows into the dorsal aorta. Actually there are multiple arches that will be discussed in, uh, in a separate scheme, right? Okay, uh, the dorsal, uh, from the dorsal aorta there comes the umbilical artery that goes through the connecting stalk into the chorionic plate of the placenta where it branches into the villi to receive oxygen, to receive nutrients and to get rid of the waste products. The blood is collected by veins that merge into a vein that carries the blood back through the connecting stalk into the embryo. This is the umbilical vein. Umbilical vein is a tributary to the heart. Sorry. Another vein that uh, goes to the heart is the vein that collects blood from the blood vessels that originated in the, in the wall of uh, the yolk vesicle, which would be somewhere here in this ventral region. This is called the vitellin vein. So let's label the structures. We got the heart tube. We got the outflow dilated part called aortic sac. We got the short ventral aorta, ventral aorta. We got a series of aortic arches. Through which the blood goes into the dorsal aorta. Then we got the umbilical artery. That carries the blood into the chorionic villi. The blood comes back via the umbilical vein. that brings the blood back to the heart tube. Here, uh, this is a ske scheme of uh, extra embryonic uh, so-called vitellin circulation.
which is just another word for the blood vessels in the wall of the yolk sac. And they will reach the heart via vi the vitellin vein. I should not forget the connecting stalk here. Again, everything is paired, so we got right and left heart tube, right and left aortic arches, right and left dorsal aorta, right and left everything. In the next scheme, we will add more blood vessel bl blood vessels in some later stage. So we already know the heart tube. The ventral aorta, the aortic arches. For the simplicity, I will only include one. Then we got the dorsal aorta. And the dorsal aorta gives rise to segmental branches that are providing blood supply to the region of the body segments, the somites. So now I will include the segmented mesoderm of the somites. That's a significant mass of tissues that require uh, blood supply. The blood is collected from this region by our veins that gradually fuse into two major veins called cardinal veins and we got the anterior cardinal vein draining the anterior part of the body and the posterior cardinal vein draining the posterior part of the body both of which will fuse to form the common cardinal vein, which is one of the tributaries to the heart. Okay, if we follow the aorta, uh, there is uh, another branch or two that will provide a blood supply to this vitellin circulation. So this artery is called the vitellin artery. And we know that the blood is collected here back to form the vitellin vein that is another tributary to the heart. If we follow the dorsal aorta, we come to the umbilical artery, it goes to the placenta circulation. blood returns back via the vitellin vein let me add the directions because anytime we talk about circulation we need to we need to show the direction of the blood flow And let's label the the vessels. This is the heart tube with the ventral aorta. The aortic arch. Actually, more arches, as we will see later. 
the Dorsal Aorta, giving rise to segmental arteries, providing nutrition to the body segments called somites. So to the an important region of the body of the embryo. The blood is collected via cardinal veins, namely the anterior cardinal vein. Cardinal means something really important. That's what they, these veins really are. And the posterior cardinal vein both of which are fusing to form the, the common cardinal vein. That go, uh, enters the heart. We already know the umbilical artery. Here is the placenta circulation. from which the blood returns via the umbilical vein. To the again, to the heart. And not to forget the vitellin artery. That provides blood to the vitellin or yolk sac circulation from which the blood returns via the vitellin vein back to the heart. Again, let me emphasize that everything is paired on this scheme, so this is the half of the reality.